pi, let's solve for the value of x, okay? For the left-hand side of the equation, they have 10 to the power of x in common. So let's factorize that out, okay? Now, when this divides this, we have 1. When this divides itself, we still have 1. When this divide itself, we have 1, okay? It's equal to 600. So we have 1 plus 1 plus 1, we give us 3. So this simply means 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of x is equal to 600, okay? Now, let us um, um, divide both sides of the equation by 3. When we do that, we have divided by 3 divided by 3. So we have 10 to the power of x is equal to what? 200, okay? Now, um, the only option we have left is to introduce log to both sides of the equation. So we are going to have log 10 to the power of x is equal to log 200. Now, recall that log a raised to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by log a. All right? So that means that we can write this as what? x multiplied by log 10 is equal to log 200. All right. Now, to get the value of x, let's divide both sides of the equation by log 10. So we have x log 10 divided by log 10 is equal to log 200 divided by log 10. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload videos twice daily at least. So always tune in at your convenient time to do what to check for new uploads. And I would like you to watch to the end because at the end, we are going to substitute whatever we got as our value into this particular equation to prove that we got it, that it is correct or wrong, okay? All right, now this we divide itself. We have x, and here we have log. Now, log 200 can be expressed as 100 times 2, right? So this is multiplication. 100 multiplied by 2 divided by log 10. So we can distribute the words, the denominator, right? But before that, recall that log a multiplied by b, right, is equal to log a plus log b, okay? Is equal to log a plus log b. Therefore, we can rewrite the numerator as log 100 plus log 2 divided by log 10, okay? Now, we have that x then, x can be written as log 100, let's distribute the, the denominator, right? Divided by log 10 plus log 2 divided by log 10. Now, our x is equal to log 100 is same thing as 10 to the power of 2, right? Divided by log 10 plus log 2 divided by log 10. Now, we have that x is equal to this 2, we come down just like in the other one we did, right? So this is 2 log 10 divided by log 10, all right? Plus log 2 divided by log 10. Okay, now log 10 we divide, we can see itself, and we have that x is equal to 2 plus. Now when you have log log, that is the logarithm are of the same base. That means that what we have there now is, in case we can see it, log 2 over log 10. Okay, what we have at the last part. So when you have the same log log, that is that in the same base, you pick one log, then you do what? This becomes your number and this becomes your base. So log, log 2 divided by log 10 is same thing as log 2 base 10. Okay, so we are going to write that here now because that is exactly what we have here. So it's going to be plus log 2 base 10. Now this is the value of x. Let's get to the most interesting aspect of this video okay now let us substitute what we got into the equation so that is it so we have 10 to the power of our uh, x is what 2 plus log 2 base 10 all right 
plus 10 to the power of 2 plus log 2 base 10. Since I need to clean everything, every, everything, everything, everything. Okay. Now, plus 10 to the power of 2 plus log 2 base 10 is equal to 600. So what do we have here? 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of this, right? 10 to the power of 2 plus log 2 base 10, okay, is equal to 600. We have 1, 2, 3. So 3 multiplied by that is equal to 600. Now we have 3 brackets. When you have a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, okay? So we are going to write this as 10 to the power of 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of log 2 base 10 is equal to 600, okay? So we have 3 brackets, 10 squared is 100 multiplied by... Now recall that when you have a raised to the power of log a, log base a of anything, say b, okay? This is equal to b, all right? Once the base and... Once the base of your log and the base is the same thing. Now, that simply means that we have 10, 10 here. So our answer here is 2 is equal to 600. Now, this implies this is equal to 3 multiplied by 100 times 2. We give us 200, okay? Is equal to what? 600. Now, you can see that 3 times 200 will give us 600. And 600 is equal to 600. So that simply means that the solution we got is correct. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed the video.